All right, I think we're all set up, ready to go. Let's begin. Okay, no my haere mai, welcome along. Today we're going to start in a seated position, please. So come into comfortable cross legs. <clears throat> Shuffle in, drop hands into your lap or on your knees. Just shrug the shoulders a few times, roll them back and down, gently opening up across your chest. And let your ears, sorry, let your shoulders fall away from your ears so there's a lot of length in the neck. So we're sitting tall, but also just a little relaxed, a bit of softness in the chest starting to ease into the hips, especially if this is quite a tight pose for you. So if you feel like your knees are hugging up to your ears, just take some time here. Have patience, connect with your breath, and a little ease and softness with each out breath. Refining your awareness to this space, to this practice in the moment. Staying just as we are for a few more breaths. Giving your full awareness to your breathing. Start with a small movement, just tipping your chin down to lengthen up the back of the neck. Maybe move from side to side. See what feels good. And then we'll lift the chin, lift the chest, stretching up the front of the throat. And then tipping one ear over one shoulder. So let's stretch the side of the neck. You could rock back and forth a few times. And slowly to the other side, just up through centre, then tip ear towards shoulder. You might have, have one side that feels a bit more restricted, maybe you have a smaller range of movement on one side. Coming up through centre, just pause here for a moment, get re-centred. Now with your hands on your knees, cupping your knees, draw your belly in towards your spine, round out through your upper back, tip the chin down, and then press your chest forward, lift your chin, hug shoulder blades towards each other. Let's do that again, so round out. Really open up across the back body. And then forward, shoulders drawing back. Lengthen your throat. And find center again. Bring one hand behind and turn your shoulders. Eye gaze turns to look behind you. Come around to the other side. So the other hand floats behind. Keep sitting tall as you turn.
facing the front again. Bring hands to either side of you on the ground, then bring one arm high, high, <laughs> high. <laughs> lift and stretch up tall and then come over for a side bend. So here we'll make sure that we're not collapsing down, so we want to stay nice and long up through both sides of the torso. Come to the other side. So breathe a lot of length up through your body. With your out breath, let's come across. Let's find a little flow now. Bring arms wide, breathe the arm up high, and as you breathe out, come over. We're going to keep moving now with an in breath, open and rise. With the out breath, come over. And we'll do it a couple more times to each side, just moving at your own pace. Let your breathing set the pace of the movement. one last time. Okay, when you're done, just release arms and let's turn over onto your hands and knees, please. Spread your fingers open wide. Power down into your hands. Shift your weight forward so your shoulders come right the way over your wrists. Just come a little bit further forward, just a little further, keep drawing the belly in towards the spine and then just shift back, coming forward again, power down into every finger and then shift back. We'll do this one more time, pressing into every fingertip, into the base of the fingers and shift back. Now bring the back of one hand to the floor. Just rocking back and forth a few times. So hopefully you're feeling a good stretch up through the forearm here. And to the other side. So back of the hand to the floor and just gently rocking back and forth. Okay, and then bring hands to the ground and then turn your fingers around as far as they'll go to face the other way so the fingers come towards you with both hands. And we'll just keep your elbows a little soft and we'll just gently rock forward and back a few times. Just try not to lock the elbows. Okay, and bring them back to the beginning, normal. <laughs> Just circle one hand and then the other. <clears throat> okay, from our hands and knees, scoop your belly in towards your spine and round out. Then drawing your belly button down towards the floor, chest proud. Eye gaze just ahead of you. Just hold for a couple of breaths. Then rounding out again. Breathe into your back body. And belly down, chest proud, eyes just ahead. And let's sit back and just circle your wrists again, wriggle your fingers whenever you need to. This is a good way to release the wrists. Coming onto your hands again, this time tuck your toes under and press back into a crouch. 
So we want to keep the spine nice and long here, hips high, belly moves towards your thighs, and then shift forward into a high plank position. Sit back and power forward. Let's do that two more times, so push back and shift forward, hips down to shoulder height, no higher, and back. And this time we're going to come forward and hold it. Bring your right knee to the ground, spin the foot out to the side and ground the left heel and reach your left arm high. Now think about your body being in one long line if you were looking down on yourself from above. Come through center, pass through plank, drop the other knee to the ground, spin the foot out, it'll just help with your balance. Ground the other heel, so that way we can make the hips level and reach your other arm high. Come through center, to the first side again, drop down, and open. So we want to squeeze the glutes a little here to help bring the hips forward at one line, but without collapsing through the ribs. So ribs in, glutes squeezed. Come to the other side. Reaching up. Okay, pass through center. Right knee to the floor, spin the foot out. And this time we're going to lift up Okay, now we want the knee directly under the hip. I'm just gonna shuffle so I'm still on my mat. Okay, so we want the left foot pressing into the floor, right knee directly under the hip so we're not swinging out to the side and we're not reaching over like this. We're nice and centered, but this long leg is super strong. Press the outer edge of the foot to the floor. Right arm comes up, stretch up tall, and just slide the other hand down your leg, coming into a side bend. Hold and breathe. So just enough tension in the glutes to help hold the pose. And of course, a little in the abs to stay strong. Okay, let's do it on the other side. So passing through your plank, left knee down, foot spins out, right heel makes it to the ground. I'm just gonna spin around so I'm still facing you. So the right leg is straight, Press into the outer edge of the foot. Make sure the hips aren't dropping back, so we want the hips forward. So hip is straight over the knee, and the left arm comes up. A lot of length up through your body, and come over. And let's stay and breathe. and release, come to your plank pose again. To the first side, so right knee down, foot spins out, rising up to your gate pose, this one is called. Stretch up tall and come over. Hold for a breath. Now this top hand finds the ground, the other arm comes up, and you can either keep the foot on the floor or you can lift it off. Stay and breathe. Okay, come through your plank again. This time, left knee to the ground, spin the foot out, rising, oh, having trouble staying on my mat, <laughs> legs are too long. Coming up, so tip the tailbone down, belly in, left arm reaches high, come over. So we've still got length up through both sides of the body, making sure that we're not collapsing here. Stretch up tall, curve across. Now the hand that's in the air finds the ground. Other arm high, and you can keep the foot on the ground, or you can float it off. Stay and breathe. Okay, and touch down, come through your plank again. Push back to a crouch. 
Now step your right foot just outside your hand or kind of replace your hand. Bring it in really, really close to the, where the hand was. Drop the back knee to the ground and sink in. So as I always say, if you need a bit more space, a bit more lift coming higher in the pose, you can have your hand to your thigh. Other hand can be on the ground or maybe you've got both hands inside. Try to keep your knee tracking straight over the heel so that we're not back here. Okay, it puts a lot of pressure on the knee. So we want to be nice and grounded through the heel. Okay, now tuck the back toes under, lift the knee off the ground. So again, you could have hand up to your thigh if you need to be a bit more supported. Otherwise, you've got both hands on the floor. Stay and breathe. Then push into both hands and step back. Come to your crouch, tipping your hips up high, deep knee bend, belly towards thighs. Then the left foot steps up really close to the hand or it might kind of replace it. Take a couple of steps if you need to to get the foot all the way forward. Higher if you like or both hands to the ground. Drop the back knee for now as we warm into the pose. And also notice whether you're kind of hunching your upper body. So can we bring the hips low and lift your chest? So we're making a long line through the torso and up through the crown of the head. I gaze just ahead of you, maybe on the ground just ahead. Now tucking the back toes under, lift the back knee off, hand to thigh if you need it, or stay down here. Okay, and then pushing into your hands, let's step back, lift your hips, Press your belly towards your thighs. Now right foot comes forward again. This time we'll spin the back heel to the ground. Keep your back leg straight. Climb up to your thigh. Now notice if your hips are swinging out to the side. Let's try to stay centered here. If you need to, you can adjust the back foot. So we're getting that heel on the floor. Bend the front knee. Try to keep your hips pointing forward which might mean that your hips are a bit more lifted than you would be in a lunge. Bring in the arms, sweep them high. Ground down into both feet. Stretch fingers up tall, hold for one more breath. Okay, now hands inside the foot, lift your back heel, passing through lunge and step back. Same thing to the other side, so from your crouch, the left foot springs forward, back heel swivels to the ground, and rise on up. Okay, make sure your feet are in the right position first, back heel is grounded. There's a little lift in the arch of that back foot so that we're not collapsing the back leg. Think about pulling up through the kneecap so the muscles are active. And when you're ready, let's sweep the arms up high. Bend your front knee, back leg stays straight, belly and ribs are gently drawing in. Reach right up to fingertips. Hold, stay for another breath. Okay, and hands float inside the foot, lift the back heel and step back to your crouch. Press your hips back, right foot comes forward, spin the back heel down. This time we're opening out to the side, warrior two. So here we can have the feet a little bit wider because the hips are open. Bend the front knee, keep that back leg straight and strong, knee is over ankle. We've got the tailbone gently tilting down a little, so we're not, not making a big arch with the lower back and belly and ribs are drawing in arms float wide. Drop on in, little softness through the shoulders, little softness in the hands, let go of some of the effort. We feel grounded through the lower body, but there's space and freedom and ease through the upper body. Turn the right palm up and come over for a side bend. So just like before, we're keeping length through both sides of the body, making sure that we're not 
collapsing and crunching into the side. Just curve across. If you find the hips lift, please gently press them down. Breathe into your side body. Okay, coming over towards the thigh, bench leg, and the top arm reaches overhead. Think about creating a long line from your heel to your hip to shoulder to fingertips. That might mean being a little bit higher so that we're not bending the middle. Stay for another breath. Then fingertips come inside the foot. Lift the back heel, plant your hands and step back to your crouch pose. I'm going to spin around so I stay facing you. Crouch, left foot steps forward, back heel spins to the ground and wind your way up. Take a moment to set yourself up. Long, strong back leg, left leg, right leg, sorry. Stop this again. Bent front leg, so we call that one the front, even though we're opened out to the side. Shoulders full, dropping in, a little softness, ease through the upper body. Feel that your weight is even in both legs, so can you press evenly into each foot? Left palm turns up and we come over. Push hips down. Breathe length up through both sides of the body. And as you breathe out, let's curve across just to a place that feels stable, easeful, spacious, sustainable. That's key. Okay, and let's come over. Forearm rests really lightly in the thigh. Coming overhead, arm by your ear, a long line from heel to fingertips. See if you can maintain that long line as you come even deeper into the hips. Could you bring a bit more pressure into the back foot? We're not relying completely on the front leg. One more breath here. And with the out breath, hands inside the foot, back heel lifts, and step back to your crouch. A right leg steps forward. Spin the back heel down, wind your way up to your warrior two. Drop on in, keep your torso centered weight even in each leg. Right arm sweeps overhead. Now coming over, you can rest really lightly on the thigh, keep the power in the legs and the core, or you could reach your fingers down towards your heel. Keep your neck long, arm reaching right over by your ear. Hold and breathe. Okay, now bring your fingertips to the floor, adjust the back foot in a little bit closer, and let's rise on up to our warrior one again. Arms reach high, bend the front knee, press into the outer edge of the back foot, so try to lift the arch of the foot a little. Now shifting forward over the front thigh. Keep shifting forward until the back leg can lift off. Slight bend in the standing knee, so we're not locking the knee joint. Open arms out wide, and line up your shoulders. Okay, now reach your right arm down towards your foot, left arm comes high. Roll your top hip open. If you step down, just come straight back up again once you find your balance. Passing through center, 
your arms open wide. Then the left arm reaches down and the right arm reaches high. So we're coming to a twist. Keep the lifted legs strong and straight. Arms open wide. Step down, land to the back heel. Reach arms up high, pause for a breath. Then hands come inside the foot. Lift the back heel, passing through lunge and step back. So you might want to pedal on the spot here if you like, just to ease through the legs. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. So from your crouch, deep knee bend. Now spring the left foot forward. Spin the back heel to the ground. Wind your way up to your warrior two and drop on in. So pull back just a little to get your torso nice and centered. Make any little adjustments that you need to. Left arm sweeps up and over. Hold for another deep breath in. And with your out breath, come over towards the thigh. Stay higher if you like with a bit of support from the forearm or bring the hips down first. So the hips, make sure that you're not just bending here. We want to bring them really low and reach fingers towards your heel. Roll the top shoulder open. Let's hold for another breath. Then the hand finds the floor. Adjust the back heel. So it probably needs to come in a little bit shorter so we can square the hips and rise on up to our warrior one. Back leg powerful, hips squaring around. Now shifting forward over the front thigh. Keep shifting and drag the back leg off the ground. Keep it straight and strong, active glutes. Arms reach out wide. Now the left arm reaches down, right arm high. Turn your body open. If you step down, let's rise again. Rotating now to our twisted pose. Right arm down, left arm high. If the leg starts to drop, can we drive it higher again? Use your glutes. Arms open wide. Bend the front knee, step down, ground the back heel, sweep your arms up, press into the outer edge of the back foot. Hold for another breath. Hands come inside the foot. Lift your back heel, passing through our lunge, and step back. Let's pedal out the legs, lowering one heel at a time. And then drop your knees to the ground and come and take a seat. Bring the soles of your feet together. Sit up tall. Hands come to your shins. Lift your chest proud. Lift your chin. Lift your chest. And tipping forward, keeping your body long. You might be able to reach to your toes or stay holding the shins, depending on how far forward you can come. Breathe into your back body. Breathe length into your one leg out long and keep the other foot tucked in nice and close. Hey, now bring your let's grab it, opposite hand to your knee and the other arm reaches up high and come over for a side bend. So if you're confused about what arm to do, we want to be dipping the shoulder down towards the long leg so the opposite hand is going to come to the thigh or knee. Make sure your neck is comfortable, so position your head in such a way that there's no strain in the back.
hold for another breath here. Then bring your top hand by your hip and let's lift off. So lifting your hips, rotate your shoulders open, maybe look up to the ceiling if you're feeling confident, active glutes, pressing the ground away from you. Hold for another breath. And as you lower, let's come to our side bend again. So hand to knee, other arm over. Okay, and release out, we'll switch legs over. Same thing to the other side. The opposite hand comes to your knee and the other arm reaches over. So we're leaning towards the straight leg. It doesn't matter how far you come, if it feels like you're high, it's a good enough stretch for you. Just think about breathing into the side body. Let your breath be full. If you come too far over, you might find that your breath is restricted. So let your breath be a guide. Rising up, and the top hand comes behind your hip. Let's push up. Roll your body open. Visualize the long line that runs up through your leg, up through your side body, and out through your arm to your fingertips. Lowering down, coming to our side bend again, hand to knee, other arm over. Let's go as far as it feels good to you. Okay, and release out. Lay all the way down onto your back. Gathering your knees up towards you. Bring one hand onto each knee. And you can hug them in close or you can let your knees fall away so your arms are straight, whatever feels nice. Bring awareness to your breath again. Okay, now bring one foot to the floor, the other foot next, foot over your thigh. Press your knee away from you. And if you're feeling a good enough stretch around the outer hip here, feel free to stay there, creating resistance against the thigh. Or you can reach through the gap to grab hold of the bottom leg. Try to keep your hips on the ground so we're not pulling them away from the floor. And if you want to take it even further, you can straighten the leg and hold your calf. That's too tight, choose one of the other variations. So make it your own, go with a variation that feels best to you. If your breath is restricted in any way, see what you might need to change in your pose. So we'll let the breath be a guide. Coming out slowly, unhook the top leg and switch to the other side. Knee opens wide, maybe create some resistance and push away. So that's your first variation to stay right here. Otherwise, lift off the thigh, keep your ankle active just to help brace the knee, and you might even straighten the leg. Helps if you have long arms like me. So if it's too tight, then definitely choose another variation. Just trying to give you some 
options so that you can take things to your own level. Make sure your head and neck are relaxed as well. Notice where you hold the tension in your body without even noticing. Try not to just drop out of the pose, just slowly release, unhook the top leg, get the knees towards you, bring arms out wide, drop knees over to one side, and keep knees bent or you could stagger the top leg or you could extend it long, whatever works, drop the opposite shoulder have a play with your neck position, whatever feels good in the moment. Coming through centre, switching to the other side, so knees draw up, drop over. You can bring the top knee further across or extend. Shoulders fall. Get your head rock from side to side until you find a good spot to rest in. your way through centre and get comfortable for the last few minutes of our class. Maybe you've got knees bent up, maybe you're stretching out long or knees dropped wide with feet together. You choose, even if you prefer to be in a seated position here, feel free. We've got five minutes here. So our practice is all about focusing our attention, bringing awareness to the breath. Taking in your senses, just being really present here. Noticing how you're feeling, your mood, your mindset, how you feel in your body, whether there's any tension, anything that's pulling your attention. it can help to use your breath like an anchor as an easy way to connect with the present moment, just feeling your breath. Begin to lengthen each breath. Let the exhalation release completely all the way out before drawing the breath in deeply again.
as your attention starts to drift. Keep returning to your breath, your body, your senses. This moment. When you feel ready to move again, take it slow and make it small. Maybe just your fingers first. Turning your hands over. Tipping your head from one side to the other. Feel good to stretch out long. <laughs> and then curl up small again. Finally, can we back up into a seated position to put the chair together? Hands on knees or resting in your lap. Sit up tall, let shoulders drop away from ears, lengthening up through the back of your neck to the crown of your head. Oh, and then bring a little softness to your pose. Easy flow of breath. Let's all take another breath together to finish our class. Sweep palms wide and stretch up high. Hands touch at the top with the out breath. Slide down the center to your heart space. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me again. And I will see you again next week. Kaki Kano.